Good evening. Hello. I don't know if you can hear We're us. Here. I hope we can hear us, yeah. Please, somebody yeah, tell you us you can, you can hear can. us. I can yeah. see it there now. Oh, that's this all right is good. Now. Yeah, got a bit of a panic there. How are we doing? All right, everybody, I hope. Lots of you Welcome out there, it. that's great. I'm expecting a response. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm just, I'm just waiting for somebody to say yes because I get a little bit panicky about wow. not having any sound. Don't but worry, don't worry. Nobody's going, we can't hear them yet, all so right that's all good. Yeah, Devin's we're there, we're... Jess, Sheila. Oh, Sheila's not in the bath asleep or entertaining oh, children. Birthday celebration, no, that's, yeah. that's good, yeah. Yeah. Uh, number 19, and it's um, <laughs> it's all originals tonight. Sorry, yeah. Steve Downs just said, let's hear it for the bears. Let's hear it for the bears. I've got to tell you about the bears. We got a, we got a picture on Facebook from, from Malk, didn't we? Oh, it's a bit of a strange one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I thought I had strange teddies. He's got bitch teddy, who's all in bond, bondage gear, it's with a, a little bit... bitch teddy attached on a lead. I'm it, it's, very, it's very, very worried odd. about Yeah, him. very odd. The gimp, gimp teddy next week, I think, anyway. But to do a song, it's going to get a bit... It's, it's, it's degenerating already. Mm. Oh, to be a soldier In the khaki and the grey Just the one ambition From the cradle to the grave Defender of my faith Defender of my country But finally until my dying day I worked hard in the classroom I studied books of war I never thought to question Just what the killing's for Enlisted in the army when I was 17 Where I swore to serve my masters Pledge allegiance to my queen Sunrise, see the guns all in the light They grip me like a hand around my throat When this day is done I'll be just another one Tomorrow's free to pity on the door He was my enemy And I swear I would have killed him But for me he was too fast He will see the dawn tomorrow But this night will be my last Sunrise, see the guns all in the line They grip me like a hand around my throat when this day is done, I'll be just another one. Two more to greet, to be on the clothes. Two more to greet, to be on the clothes. I have to say, they taught me well. I can hold my head up high as I've run to get to hell. I can kill a man and look him in the eyes. But the one thing they've forgotten was to teach me. If I had a voice, I'd tell you just what the killing's for. Gave to you my life's blood, gave to you my best. I find no comfort in forgiveness, this soul will never rest. Yeah, to more to be to 
Blast from the past. Ah. That was, um, I can't even think what album that was on. Was it on These Are The Things? That was the angry album that had most no, of I the... No, I think it was Voices Sing. Oh, was yeah, it? Oh, it might have been. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, well, that's got the fluff out of the way nice and early. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Graham. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sheila. Oh, nearly full. Fantastic. Um, so, yeah, we did our first oh, garden Sarah's, gig. We did, yeah, it was great. On Sunday. Yeah, thank you to, uh, to Sarah, Sarah and Mark. Mark. Much appreciated. It was, it was fab. Um, and, you know, lovely, we saw some people that we know and some people, a lot of people that we didn't know. And, and it, was, it was really nice and it was beautiful weather. And then Monday, we went over, we had a day out. We went to Derby and recorded our set for this year's Derby Folk Festival at home. And since then, my head's been a complete freaking shed, hasn't it? Hey, it just lost it a bit, mate, Oh, uh, yeah. I think we had such a good time over those two days that it just reminded me of what we're missing. Yeah. And, you I'll know, tell you, it's your hair. You've had your hair done. I've had my hair done, mm. yeah. You might, oh, yeah, the roots have gone. Look, there, there are no roots. <laughs> my roots went bloody years ago. But yeah, it um, it freaked me out a bit, and I've I've not been in a very good place this week. That said, we are um, we are now drowning in runner beans, and uh, the courgettes are coming on, and we're still eating strawberries and tomatoes out the garden and beetroot. And mm. It's like the bloody good life here. It isn't is a it? bit, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have a look on here. You talk for a while. Yeah, yeah. Um, um... This next song, what does it take to face the morning? It, it's called. I don't honestly think we've ever done this live. Probably that that's one one thing with doing this. You know, we you sort of uh, we're, we're doing what we do. We go off and we do these tours and things. And usually you're promoting whatever is your latest album, but you you always do a few from your back catalogue. And so very often uh, from the albums that we've done, there's probably if if there's a dozen tracks on an album, there's probably eight, seven or eight of them that we'll, we'll do live off the album and then there's some more that just don't get performed and, and this was one of those and the, the strange thing is I, some songs I can remember vividly when I wrote them uh, that last one, Soldier's Song I have no idea I can't, can't remember writing that at all but obviously I did because it's in my book um, but um, this one, what does it take to face the morning I, I was working many years ago at Newark Dairy and I was driving over from Newark over to Gainsborough uh, for a bit of a meet-up in Gainsborough. And um, I got the idea for this song on the way over there. And it's, it's one of them. I've written a few songs in labels, strangely enough. And it's not that sort of song. I know what you're thinking, but uh, yeah. Can I just say, um, for Graham, who's asking. All right. This is a, a Jura superstition. So a lightly peated Jura. It's very nice. Um, I, I did, as I, as I often do when I have a whiskey, as I nearly always do, in fact, I, I offered Dave a taste. And um, his response after he'd stopped screwing his face up was, actually, that's not quite as bad as most of them. Yeah, I've tasted worse. I still don't like it. But I keep trying. I it's keep lovely. Slancher. Personally, I have, I have a bottle of black sheep, which is very nice. Bleep. Oh, bleep. Yeah, what's yes. it take face in the morning? What would it 
I was obviously in a good mood that day. That was one of your cheerful <laughs> ones, wasn't it? Ones, yeah. Sorry, I'm going on. Have a look on here. Yeah. We've got... Hi, Ari. Hi, Susie. Um, oh! My cousin-in-law. Excuse me. Margaret. I'll oh, back in a minute. I'm just rearranging things. Oh, who else are we on here? Andy, was Dad in trouble for being out on a school night last night? No, mate. I just went to bed with a glass of wine. It was great. Um, yes, I was. Um, I was taking advantage of the uh, the government's meal offer. I thought we would, and I was out with uh, my lad Andy, his father-in-law and uh, brother-in-law uh, for uh, for an Indian, which was very nice, damn fine, it really was. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was talking to family. I've got my T-shirt on from uh, this is from my daughter for Father's Day. Um, Never underestimate an old man with a guitar. Very nice. Sort of thing you expect from your kids. Um, just thinking about that, uh, we put a video up. I can't remember what it was about. We, somebody had asked us to do a video. To put, I think it might have been Beardy Festival. To, to uh, give a plug to Beardy Festival. And we recorded a video for that. And, and I noticed back on one of the comments where somebody who I've never heard of had commented below the... Uh, below the, the video that we've done, we've just done a bluesy number. And that comment was, never underestimate an old man with a guitar. I felt uh, slightly worse about that comment than I did about my daughter buying this. Such is life. Hey ho. Um, Get the squeeze yeah, in, so um, it's, it's the moment. Is it? 
Well, this is the first time the squeeze oh, yeah. box has appeared on here. Yeah, we're hoping that she's going to be all right. Because we just sort of record this. We just do this through these couple of mics here that are in front of us. We don't record and, it, Dave. Um, it's live. And, uh, well, I'm out, yeah, I know what I mean. But uh, hopefully it's going to sound okay with the, with the squeezy on there as well. And hopefully I'm going to survive. We will see. This, um, yeah, this is one we have done a good few times live, actually. It's, uh, but not so far with... Uh, on these uh, these events, I can't believe this is 19 weeks we've been doing this. It's well, crazy. yeah, and we still haven't repeated a song. Not yet, not yet. No. It'll come. To hell with Monday morning. Two, three. Paint your nails, my pretty ones. I've been paid night is young. There's a roll of hard earned cash in my pocket. You will not see the morning. There are lights burning. Tonight you and I will be the brightest stars around. Let's do it while we're hot. For the Mercury is falling. Let's dance like we don't have a care. Ginger Rogers, Fred Astaire. There's no one can come close. God, someday then we'll say our prayers with the last of the two-day millionaires. Tonight our dreams are falling. To hell with Monday morning. Well, the shine from off my shoes has hit it with And that dress that you are wearing It's long since seen its best But it doesn't change a thing for you and I It's good to be alive For this might not be the book we plan to write But we have to tell our story Before we lose the light And there's no one that can say we haven't tried So sweetheart, don't you cry Let's dance like we don't have a care Ginger Rogers, Fred Astaire There's no one that can touch it There's no one can come close Come Sunday then we'll say our prayers With the rest of the today millionaires Tonight our dreams are calling Uh, There's another one thinking of that next. Yeah, what, just, uh, just what see what from. people are saying. Ah, oh, Francoise. Francoise is waving to us. I just saw that. Girls on there. Uh, Sue Squeezy. Yes, Sheila Sibbons Brill. Happy accordion. Yes. Um, no, we haven't got any banjo tonight. Really sorry. Oh, I'm not sorry yeah. at all, actually. Ollie the Pix <coughs> is on. Hi, Lynn and Gwyneth and uh, all sorts of people on there. That's great. Yeah, this uh, 
<coughs> excuse me. This this next one, it's um, it's funny how some of these songs come to you, really. Uh, and I and, and I, don't, I do remember how, how I got the idea for this one. It's it's called uh, One Way Ticket, and um, a, a chat. Ian Ian Goodsman. Don't know where Ian's living now. I, th I think he they went out. out Chesterway, wasn't it? Westway, yeah. Uh, but Ian, Ian and Lynn, his wife, used to live in Sleaford. They actually lived here with us for a while, but in between houses. Um, but um, they'd lived in New Zealand for a while. And they'd been back in the UK, and then they were going back out to New Zealand. And then we saw them at a music session, and they were sort of saying cheers to everybody. And I remember saying to Ian, I said, is, is, is it this it like, or have you, are you uh, thinking about coming back? And uh, he said, I've got, I've got a one-way ticket, but I've got a return state of mind. And it, it just like, oh, I thought, oh, that, so, you nicked that. It. so I nicked it, as you do. I don't have any of these ideas myself. I paint them all off everybody else. And, um, you might need to shift a little bit. I will shift over a bit. Melted. And so uh, this is this is the song that came out of it. And uh, again, it's just one of them that we've never got around to doing live. So um, we've never got around to doing live because I could never play it. So <laughs> not having played the accordion for four and a half months, it seemed like a really well, really good idea. Know, it's good exercise, again. isn't it? Gets you gets you into it. Yeah. Mm. We'll get there. Yeah. So fun. we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, one way ticket. Okay. Yeah, for real. Check my bag, but it feels like something's missing. Something I might be needing down the line. But leaving here today, but a part of me will stay. I got a one way ticket, but a return stay to mine. First attempt. Most of it was yeah. there. Oh, that was all right. Was Anybody good. got any paracetamol? <laughs> oh. You see, we timed it in this one because we've got another squeezy coming up later on. You should have done them all. Oh, no. Away. No, no. I need a rest now. Okay. 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 So, yeah. Uh, you uh, talk about the next song, darling. I'll have a look on here. <laughs> Sheila Sibbins obviously doesn't appreciate my guitar playing. Can you this? play the log cabin in the sky easier on the accordion than the guitar? Well, do you know what? I'd play anything easier on the accordion than the guitar. Well, it's all out of practice, but uh, I'm uh, no, 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 not no, saying... No, no. Yeah, this... Oh, um, Lynn Ward. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Hope John's all right. 
hope you're both uh, doing well and keeping sane. It's, it's not easy, is it, in, in all of this? But yeah, this song, um, this would it have been last weekend, would have been Cambridge Festival. Mm. In a, it's, it's going on in a different dimension, probably somewhere. It did. It went online uh, as well. Yeah, and um, this this song sort of sort of originated at Cambridge Festival many years ago. Uh, there's a guy there, Big John. I don't know his surname, just a big Irish guy who used to see. I, the only place I ever saw him was Cambridge Festival, and over twenty odd years, I think we missed about two Cambridge festivals. We used to go every year. And um, I remember talking to John uh, in the Guinness tent one day, and he said, oh, you write songs, don't you? He said, I've got a line for you. And um, I said, oh, what's that? And he, and he said, I've got a glass in his hand. He's got a glass in his hand and a woman in his heart. Uh, and, and there was something more to it, but that was the bit I wrote down. I had my notepad with me, and I wrote that down, because I thought that was pretty good. And then a long while later, because... I tended to have notepads in my jeans, in my jackets, all over the place. And uh, a while later, I found this notepad in my jacket. I'd not worn my jacket for ages. And uh, I started going through it, and I found that line. Got a glass in his hand and a woman in his heart. And that was the first line of this song. And, uh, and then we realised... It, uh, it was, yeah, um, with, with, yeah. with John. Uh, it, it dawned on me a while later, after singing the song for quite a while, actually, Every time I saw John, he got a glass in his hand and there was never a woman with him. So um, it... Uh, it was John that got... It, we we it got him it. a bit a bit excited by Sue and I walking around holding hands. You did. Dirty trick to do. I know, but there you go. Anyway, yeah, yeah. this is, this is uh, called Door That Never Opens. Door That Never Opens. Got a glass in his hand Woman in his heart Between them they conspired And done their best to tear his life apart There's walking paths that no one else can see It's a life that's lived in dreams Between the door that never Sad dads on Sundays with their children in the park. Burger King for dinner. Be sure you bring them home by dark. Their fellows sit upon his windowsill. He knows she loves him still. He'll have to take his medicine. He'll have to take his pill He's walking past that no one else can see It's a life that's lived in dreams Between the door that never opens And a phone that never rings What happened to forever Nothing lasts as long these days Landmarks once thought permanent, they drift into uneasy shape. To lose all sense of order, to lose all sense of worth, it takes some getting over to live your life with such a Now there's letters left unopened There's bills no longer paid Final demands and court orders These fears they used to stop their prey It's a day-to-day -day existence And this bucket at the sun It's so vicious and it stings between the door that never opens and a 
phone that never rings He's walking past that no one else can see It's a life that's lived in dreams Between the door that never opens And a phone that never rings Between the door that never opens Just a few things. Um, hello to oh. Jess and Angela and David and Julie and Carl who are all together oh, watching all together. this. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got, uh, we got a very nice email um, this week from uh, Angela and David, um, thanking us for doing what we're doing, what we're doing, and suggestions for songs. And, and she, Angela mentioned that. Uh, it was once we were playing in Belper, the Queen's Head in Belper, great pub, and um, they do some cracking live music. They've got an upstairs room where they do uh, a live music on every Saturday mm -hmm. night. It's I, I would have loved to have a, uh, been in a town with a pub like that because they did everything. Um, you know, they, they would have rock in there, blues in there, folk. I remember one yes. week we were playing there, and the following week they got a Scottish harpist going in there. They would just take anything on and. Um, but anyway, that particular week we were playing there, Angela and David came in and, and, um, and a few of their friends as well. And Angela started saying, will you do this? Will you do that? And then in the end, we just gave her the pen and paper and she wrote the set list. <laughs> I've forgotten about that until we got the email. Thanks for that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was just thinking, um, Callum Campbell was watching. Um, I, I don't know what your Gaelic's like, Callum. I've been doing a Duolingo Gallic course brushing mine up because mine is exceedingly rusty. I used to be fluent, um, but I'm certainly not now. But uh, I was just because I was like thinking slant to that, which is your good health. But um, yeah, the it's quite funny because the the people on the that have recorded the bits for the Duolingo course, there's quite a few of them, and one of them sounds just like my auntie Margaret when. Oh, wow. And That'd be a good thing. Yeah, uh, but um, except that my auntie Margaret's been dead for a good number of years now, hasn't yeah, she? Yeah, well, yeah. But uh, yeah, it is very funny. <laughs> it is very funny because because I hear this woman that her. I'm assuming that she's from Babel or from like from Point anyway, because she's got quite a distinct accent, and they have got people with very different accents doing it all on there, which is which is quite funny because it it just makes me giggle. Um, what else have you got on there, Dave, to talk about? I see Bill Pardon's on there. Hello, Bill. Who? Not Sorry. seen you for a long while. Bill Pardon. Oh. Kira Mason. Oh, I just love her. Yeah, this song, um, again, this is another one. We uh, we put this on the list, and I thought Kip sang it, and then we realised, no, Kip won't sing it, it's me. So it, it seems a bit like it's me, me, me tonight. But uh, It's all about again, you, um, we knew that. Again, it's, it's one that uh, we've, never, we've never done this one live. Uh, and I wrote, I wrote this when I was in my last job, and um, it was for somebody who just used to ch chase the money all the time, but never really got a chance to enjoy it. Let's just say that. And I, I couldn't work it out. I thought, your life's passing you by. Sort yourself out. Can I just say, talking about chasing the money, thank you. I know somebody has already sent a donation. It's just flashed up on oh, my brilliant. iPad. But, thank you very much um, indeed. Yeah, um... We don't charge for these, for those of you who are watching for the first time. Um, we do them to try and keep ourselves sane, but... Believe me, we could. What if we could? <laughs> um, we are raising money uh, for Sleaford Community Food Larder, uh, our local food bank, and also for the Musicians Union, Musicians Hardship Fund. Yep. We have sent over £1,200 to them already uh, from the donations which have come for yourselves um, which is great thank you very much thank you. Uh, if anybody would like to donate to those good causes or to help us out um, then if you go to our website winterwilson.com there are donate buttons there um, you can donate whatever you want to There's a link. there is a link at the top of this video that takes you to there and yeah. Um, yeah thanks for all those that, of you that have but it's not entirely it's not necessary. Just keep watching. That's great. 
and the sharing. I keep always banging on about the sharing. The sharing is a great help. Thanks very much. Can I just say... What can I do to make you Janice happy? Breeden is on there. I haven't seen Janice since I left Boots. There you go. And I left Boots in about 1993. Crack on. It's amazing, Facebook, isn't it? Mm. before. <laughs> Do you know what, I've heard that guitar so many times God. this week. Sometimes it's been right. Ah, oh, occasionally, occasionally. Okay, so I'm just going through this. Um, Janice there, who I knew at Boots, Sheila Dorlin's on there. I knew her as Sheila Moss. We met mm. on our first day at grammar school, which leads me to say also, um, and I know she won't be watching it oh, now no. live, but she'll be watching it later. Hello to Wendy, Wendy Williams, um, Sheila Moss, Wendy Dibley, as was. Um, we all met on our first day at grammar school uh, a very long Sorry. time ago. And uh, again, the, the wonders of, of technology. Got an email from Wend, was that today? To say yeah. she just watched last week. She lives down in um, South Devon now. Um, and we saw her... We, we were Just there on her January. birthday, February. February, was it? Yeah, oh, right. we were there for her birthday. 
this year. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you for your for your offer, Wendy. That's very, very, very kind of you. Thank you. And yes, he wants them. <laughs> for the rest of you, you'll have to work that out. Well, this has gone really, really quickly, you know. I know it has. It's weird. Um, what the, else um, have I got to tell you about? If there's anybody out there who hasn't liked the Winter Wheels Facebook page and um, doesn't hate us, um, we'd be very grateful if you would like the page. Um, we're hoping, you know, that one day when when all of this is over, it's not going to be, but, you know, that we're, things will get back to more normal. And there are people who, if they're looking to see um, whether or not they should book you, they look at things like how many people like you on Facebook. Yeah, so I, I did look, that so does we're, help. we're on like something like 2,900 and something. Yes. So if we could get that to 3,000, uh, it would be a miracle. I <laughs> do, the funny thing, I remember... I when we were trying, trying to get, to get it to a thousand, I remember that, yeah. And we got so excited about getting to a thousand likes. And yes, there we are now approaching three thousand, which is fab. Yeah. Um, it's, oh God! Um, I've, I've got <laughs> Sheila's with Jane as well. That's Jane Davy, who used to be Jane Islip, who we last saw in Edinburgh last I'm, I'm year. I'm sure everyone's festival. really. <laughs> hey, it's this like a KGGS reunion on here. It's I thought, fab. I thought, I thought she was going to say a KGB reunion then. No. I mean, uh, it may well be, you never know. Uh, well, know. say, Jane came to our gig at the Edinburgh Festival last year. Ah, right. Yep, got you now. Yeah, yep. you see? Yeah, that'll help Amazing. Amazing. Well, oh. no. See, the Edinburgh Festival, that would have been any time now, been on wouldn't now, it? Yeah, yeah August. it would have been, yeah. Yeah. Hello. So all those businesses in Edinburgh that just oh. could be, that makes nearly all their money, the venues that make practically all their money during the festival are just crippled. Although the Scottish Government has given a significant sum of money to the venues in Edinburgh to make up for it. Fingers crossed, eh? Um, yeah, anyway, we're, we're on a bit of a downer here this week, aren't we? All this, Sorry. Uh, all this gloom and doom. Oh, yeah, it's uh, just about to get loads more cheerful. It is. No, no, I mean, not. I mean no, normally we try and make it happy in between the songs because the songs are that miserable, but... Uh, we, we've nowhere else to take you this week. I'm really sorry about this. But no, we have because we've got some. We've got some more um, garden concerts coming up. So this oh, weekend, yeah. Yeah. we're going to be playing in Francoise's garden in Newark. Yeah, the um, mm. the gazebo's come. We've had a test run with the gazebo. Yeah, today. we bought ourselves a little we've gazebo had, um, just in case we. A mile erection in the park in the in the in the garden, which was uh, didn't take long, did it? <laughs> Never does. <laughs> Um, <laughs> How could you remember? <laughs> and I can't remember actually. No. <laughs> I could have said. Um, and then what else? So yeah, and then mm, we're, with luck, we'll be going up to the Lake District to do a couple, but we, we're still not sure about those. Let's and see then how go. we're going to be uh, doing one at Sheila Reed's, who Sheila says that's almost full, which is fantastic. That's great news. Um, and I know um, Nikki and Jeff are looking, trying to sort something out. Oh, well, we've also got one. Next weekend, it looks like actually here in Sleaford. Fingers, Fingers crossed. crossed. Yeah. So, Fingers crossed. Yeah. yeah, make hay while the sun shines. Indeed, yeah, because you do need the sun for these things. So make yeah. money while the sun shines. It's the only time we're going to. <laughs> this song, uh, the song's called To Whom, For Whom the Bell Tolls, which is uh, obviously not my line. Who, who wrote that? Who's, who did the book? Uh, Ernest Hemingway. Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway, that's it, yeah. But, um, yeah, there's a bit of my dad in there. There's a bit of a guy I used to work with on the railway. There's all, all sorts of folks uh, crop up in this song. smile and the glint in his eye he took on everyone Don't ask for whom the bell tolls my friend When you never dare to listen Don't offer your condolence Cause you don't know what you're missing 
got a payoff from the railway Said I wasn't of sound mind Got my cars before my time was due now Wasn't that kind You see I can't forget the war you know I took some shrapnel in my leg Now I go busking with my accordion Can't bring myself to bed Don't ask for whom the bell tolls, my friend Cause you never dare to listen Don't offer your condolences Cause you don't know what you're missing Got a place down at the station Where I used to draw my pay If I'm lucky I'll get the rush hour If I'm lucky they'll let me play I might make enough for a glass of wine Or maybe a bottle of beer One thing's certain, whatever the time I'll never make enough to get out You never dared to listen Don't offer your condolences Cause you don't know what you're missing The Waltz is just That's that beautiful well. Really lovely that song we used, to, we used to play um, Old Nick's Tavern in Horncastle oh, yes. many, many years ago. And uh, I used to love it as a gig. I, we, we just stopped doing pub gigs in bars and things like that because mm. folks just wanted covers. But mm. Old Nick's, you could go there and have a good reputation for, um, for uh, live music. And we used to do a Sunday night or sometimes a Wednesday. And just sit on a stool, and, and they had a, they used to get a crowd in there that really appreciated live music. And I forget the name of the guy, but there was a guy, every time we played there, he always used to ask for that song. Yeah. Oh, oh. I know, because he came over, when we were, when we put Vin Garber on at yeah. the, the Playhouse in Sleaford, and this guy was coming to see Vin, and didn't turn up, and we thought that was really strange. And hadn't he ended up he'd in a, a ditch? Yeah, he'd had, a, he'd had an accident on the way. He, he was fine. He was really fucking, but he'd ended yeah. up in a ditch. Yeah. Um, so. That's gone amazingly quick, hasn't it? Oh. Yeah. Franck. Franck Lure is watching in France. <laughs> I thought she was swearing. Hey, Francois and Franck could have a chat. Indeed. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> and somebody there was saying, um, could I sing some Gaelic songs? And yeah, we'll do one, one week, actually. Yeah, we'll do it. I won't yeah. do a whole set of Gaelic ones, because I yeah. can't remember that many. But um, yeah, we'll do a few. Um, now, this is, this is the big moment. Um, oh, Sheila it? Reed has been asking for this song oh, since yeah. we very, very first started doing... <coughs> excuse me, since we very first started doing these sessions. Um... And obviously couldn't do it because I couldn't play the accordion. Um, and there's who else really likes this song? Colin Grantham. Colin Grantham. I mean, Colin usually asks for it. Um, Derry and Merrick. Yep. Um, that's uh, Mary and Derek Brochet from Banbury. They they love this song and always ask for it. And so do a load of other people. Um, and again, it's it's a, it's a cheerful little story, but the, at least the song bobs along, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Um, I, I, I find that works well if you if you really really miserable <laughs> lyric. I just sometimes put a sort of a, a more of an upbeat tune to it. And, yeah, uh, cheers um, it up no end. <laughs> so this song tells the story of um, the worst peacetime naval shipping disaster ever to happen in uh, British waters, and <clears throat> excuse me, sadly still. 
Um, a lot of people don't know about it, and it happened uh, on January the 1st, 1919, in the early hours of the morning. There was a TV programme about it a few years back, wasn't there? Well, there was a... Documentary or something. There was a documentary on BBC Alban, on BBC oh, Scotland. Oh, probably, yeah, you probably get it on iPlayer. Yeah. Um, which told the story. Um, and there's also um, a couple of books written about it. One of them, uh, I Heard the Bell, um, which I've got upstairs. Um, and... What had happened was that there were lots of young men trying to get home who'd been demobbed at the end of the First World War and they were in Kyle of Loch Elsh on New Year's Eve and trying to get home to um, Lewis and Harris um, in the Western Isles and there weren't enough places for them on ships. So a ship called Her Majesty's Yacht Isle Air, um, it's actually the, the, the proper pronunciation is Euler, which means eagle, but it was it was known as the ILA. It was brought into service um, to take some men back to Stornoway. And it set sail about nine o'clock in the evening on New Year's Eve with, I think, is it 305 just, people oh, on yeah. board? No, 284 well, I people on board. I thought it was That's just right. under 300. Yeah, 284 people on board. Um, and in the early hours of the morning, it turned just slightly to short into um, Stornoway Harbour and foundered on some rocks known as the Beasts of Hollam. And the Beasts of Hollam are about 20 metres from the shore and Hollam Rocks is where we go fishing when we go home. We should have been fishing there in April this year. <laughs> but anyway, <coughs> my my Uncle Watty um, lives in um, Stonyfield Cottages on, on Hollam Road. Um, so we go fishing there, and so 20 metres from the shore, the ship hit the rocks, and of the 284 people on board, 205 died. And the guy who managed to swim ashore with a hawser, a heavy line to attach, was called John Finley MacLeod. He's mentioned in the song. And he um, attached the hawser, and most of the people who survived, survived thanks to him. And then also he went to raise the alarm um, at Stonyfield Farmhouse where he could see some lights and until my Uncle Watty uh, retired a few years back he was the manager of Stonyfield Farm so it's all very very close to home this one for me um, yes it's the last one it's the last song, last song. Yes. thanks for watching again that does seem to have gone very quick but it's been nearly an hour and it will, and it's a, and, uh, it will be over an hour by the time this is finished so uh, yeah, thanks again. Thanks for all the shares. We do appreciate it. Keep uh, keep doing that and um, keep well. We'll see you next week. It's covers again next week. Um, we'll we'll we, we can still go a bit longer yet without repeating anything. I think all being well. Uh, yeah. So yeah, keep the uh, keep the requests coming as well. It's it's always interesting. And uh, Francoise, we'll see you on Saturday. Yeah. Thanks everybody. Thank you very much. Thank indeed. you.
John Finley McLeod. Yeah, I thought you missed a verse there. No, I didn't miss a verse. Oh, I just sang, sang the end of the second verse twice. Oh, well. Hey ho. Such is life. Ah. Um, so yeah. lots of people on there still. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. We'll, um, we'll up onto Facebook and uh, reply to your comments. Thanks very much indeed again. And we will see you next week. All being well. And anybody else wants Keep a garden well. concert, give us a shout. Oh, yeah, give us a shout. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we can bring our own gazebo. Bye. Bye.